Are you a physical descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Yes. Okay. What tribe are you from? So most Jews today are from the from three tribes: Levi, Yehuda, and Benjamin. Okay. Which one? So do you know? most likely, I am from Yehuda, as he was the biggest tribe. How, how would they know that? Through um, it's been passed down through generation from generation. My father was a priest, and my father's father was a priest, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Those are the last remaining tribes that la- that were remaining from the diaspora. What is an Israelite? So there's an Israelite is anybody of the nation that comes from Jacob. That comes from Jacob, right? How many sons did Jacob have? Twelve. And 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 their names make up the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, Correct. right? They- to be considered an Israelite. Yes, you can have a different nationality, but she was considered an Israelite. I, 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 you you need to show me one person that's considered an Israelite that's not a physical descendant of Israel. Anybody who converted. No, 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 no. Yosef, Yosef, here's the thing, right? But you know the verses about converts, not no, to treat no, them no, like I, I, can show you, I can show you the verse about converts, right? I can show you in the book of Esther where, where Mordecai, who's of the tribe of Benjamin, right, is called a Jew. Yah- Yehudi, correct. Right. The 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 yod at the end of Yehudi denotes b- belonging to the patronymic name that precedes it. Right. That's what it is to be a Jew. Right. Okay. Yehudi. That means that you are patronymic to Judah. Right. Correct. Or of Judea, and that would have been Judah, Benjamin, and Levi at that yes. time. See, Hamites giving sacrifices to our God in Samaria after the Lord cast off the northern kingdom of Israel. Does that make them now part of the nation of Israel? No. Just because you sacrifice to our God. Not just that. He became, he started following the Torah. You got to show, you, 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 listen, you got to show me that. that. Don't say that in the text. Just to clarify before I say this, you believe every single person of color, black no. person, is an Israelite? No? No. Do so you want to know what I believe? What do you believe? I believe that so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans here, right? So Hispanics are not considered Black, for the record. Native Americans are not considered Black, for the record. I believe that so-called Black, so-called, because that's what they're labeled, Americans, pursuant to patrilineage, right, are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of here. Wait, 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 let me finish. Here in the Western not, Hemisphere. Well, not that I agree with that statement, but I'm just saying, I, I, I'm saying correct in your new view. But the, the nation of Israel is made up of tribes, right? Correct. So if the nation of Israel is made up of tribes and the tribes are determined by men, that means you are an Israelite deter- because of your father. I can, I can go to China and assimilate to Chinese culture all I want. I'm not ethnically a Chinese man. Correct, right? but we believe in conversion. But, but hold on, convert, we're not talking about conversion, right? We're talking about whether someone is of the nation, right? The nation of Israel. When we read Genesis 10 and Genesis 9, we see the dividing of the nations, Correct. right? Shem had sons, right? Correct. Ham had sons, Correct. Japheth had sons, right? The nations were divided by what? By the, by, by men. Yes. Because- same thing, wait, wait, same thing with the nation, of Israel, right? So yes, you can be Helena, you can be Judaized, of course, but that does not make you a part of the nation of Israel, right? A convert, all right, someone who's converting to our ways, according to Torah, would not be able to have inheritance in the land. They don't have a tribe, and, and, and inheritances cannot pass from tribe to tribe, according to Numbers the twenty seventh chapter. So, so no a convert is not considered to be a part of the nation of Jew, a a, a nation of of Israel, right? You you, you don't just become the seed of of Jacob. That does not exist, right? When I look at prophecy, right? Prophecy tells me that Jerusalem, that the land of Israel would be inhabited by by Gentiles. The, The actual descendants of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? Those men, right? that those people are not in the land of Israel right now. Because I read prophecy where the Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the house of Judah, they must walk out of a place with the house of Israel, which is called the land of the north.
you're interpreting it very literal. What no, I no, think no, I'm, I'm interpreting it based off what it says, right? Because you're you're Ashkenazi. The Ashkenazi Jews uh, came to the land of Israel in 1948, correct? With, correct. With the Balfour Declaration. Okay. So let's you, and you believe in biblical prophecy, correct? Correct. Okay, so let's go to the book of Jeremiah, right? I'm going to read uh, from verse 14, right? Can you see this? Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. So it says that the Lord, Hashem, yeah. is going to bring the children of Israel to Zion, yeah. right? Now, when we look further up, right? Verse 11 says, and the Lord said unto me, the backsliding Israel have justified herself more than treacherous Judah. So he acknowledged thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God and has scattered thy ways to the strangers right. under every green tree, right? And this is all referring to the Israelites. The Verse 17. So this is all happening at the same time. This is, at that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord and all nations shall be gathered unto it. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you believe that this has come to pass yet? Um, I don't. I'm not familiar with this prophecy in particular, but I'm assuming based on what you've just read, it's very, very likely what Jeremiah is referring to here is one of two things. Either it's the messianic era that's going on. Very likely, it's talking about the times of Ezra. The times of Ezra. Ezra, as we know, majority, the overwhelming majority of Jews had turned away. They were ignorant. They lost their way, and he gathered them all. But we're talking about this. But we're not talking about Judah. We're talking about Israel. He brought all Jews. No, no, hold on, hold on. Ju Jews is three tribes: Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right, right. But you know, you know what I'm talking about. When I say anything, I'm mentioning that that we believe. By the way, Moses himself had to have been dark skinned as well. I, I agree. I agree. I, I mean, because he had it. to have been. There's no way that Pharaoh would see this baby and, and not assume that he was an, uh, an Israelite unless he was, he looked dark. So at this time, Joseph, right? We had the split, right? We had the Earth. Northern, Earth. we had the Northern kingdom of Israel and we had the Southern king, kingdom of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the Jews or the inhabitants of Judea, right? And then you have Israel. Which verse was it? Jeremiah? J Jeremiah 3, where 